Hey and welcome to Top Gaming, my name is Charlie and today we are taking a look at this or more importantly what's inside this which is the cooperative card game Kim Joy's Magic Bakery. Now if you recognise that name and you're going hmm I wonder where I know that from think no longer. It is from Bake Off. If you remember watching The Great British Bake Off a couple of seasons ago, we had Kim Joy and she did a great job working her way through each week and we watched on in the hope that she would continue to the final and win it. Alas, she did not, but it's a great watch anyway. Now, she is also a tabletop fan, so it turns out, and this is Kim Joy's Magic Bakery. So when we say this, we mean the Kim Joy, as in the Great British Bake Off Kim Joy. If you haven't watched The Great British Bake Off, there are like 10 seasons, pause this video, go watch it now. All of them, all of them, you won't regret it. Anyway, the Skybound Games have sent us over this little pack, which is Kim Joy's Mag Magic Bakery, but if you can see, it looks like a little bakery itself. This is a press pack, so there's some cool little goodies in there as well that I'm really excited about to show you. Um, and we will unbox the game itself and have a look at what some of those cards look like too. So, welcome to a first look. If we then open her up, da 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 da! Firstly, I like that they've continued the pattern on the inside, that's really cool. Um, so, under this tissue paper, we have a oh, super cute note. I hope this brings you joy from Kim Joy. That's really cute. Keeping that. <laughs> and then inside, you can see this. Now, I have seen online what this is, and I'm so excited. So, first of all, let's talk about artwork. This art is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really quirky and uh, sort of stands out quite nicely. But this, this, in keeping with the theme, I believe is an apron. Yes, I am super excited. This is delightful and you know what's gonna happen. You know this has to be the thing, right? Look, look, <gasps> look, look at that. And it, and it, and then, and then, and then, yeah. Yeah, I am ready to make raspberry pavlova meringues, penguins, and I will show you what I mean by that in a second. But look, yeah, check that out. Okay, right, so excitement aside, although yeah, I'm gonna carry on wearing it. We also have a super cute little pin. Look at him. He's like a little tortoise in a spaceship. Very, very nice. I do love you. I mean, you'll know if you've seen any of my videos, I love the sort of gaming adjacent stuff that gets you excited and lets you share the hobby in different ways. So not only can I play the game, but I can also pop this pin on my bag and then have a chat with someone about it or those sorts of things. And for similar reasons, I'm very, very excited that there are some baking themed little stickers as well. You may have seen one of our TikToks where I went through the stuff that I have and I sort of, I, I love putting stickers on things. It's just really exciting. And that raspberry pavlova that I said about is in here. Look how wonderful that is. Such a nice as well. There's also a little bit on the back with a little bit more of that artwork that I just want to show you because I think it's beautiful. Um, which is, let's be honest, like Bake Off winning delights. Or should have been. Maybe we should have tried with that. Anyway, we then have the game itself. The game is by Ben Kepner, the bakes are by Kim Joy, and the art is by Linda Vandenberg. It is for two to five bakers, it takes 15 to 30 minutes to play, and it's for ages eight and over. Okay, so opening her up, we have a Skybound summer catalogue, which is exciting, I quite like Skybound games, all the stuff they've done so far. We've got our rules and instructions with a quick reference on the back. To have a quick look through. To be fair, I was going to say this is quite a weighty rule book for a card game, um, but inside are scenarios, um, so things that are happening and different ways to set up, so that's going to increase the longevity of your game. So There's not necessarily instructions as it were, but different ways to set up that mean you can play different uh, different scenes and scenarios, which is quite good. Then, oh we have Kim Joy herself! Oh that's very cute, look! Got a little standy, and of course the associated necessary stand. Let's pop her onto there. Ta da And then a couple of bags. So we have our first set of cards. I am going to keep saying that the artwork is adorable because the artwork is adorable. Um, it's really sort of endearing and it's just quite nice to look at. Like I'm liking every time I, I look at something different I'm like oh this is nice and this is nice. Okay so first set of cards. It took me a long time to get into these plastic defeats me. All of these have got super cute little bakes on them. So we've got shortbread biscuits, for example. We've got a chocolate bomb. We've got ye old favorite Jaffa cakes and the like. So they're all sort of artistically done and very, very cute. And on the back, 
we have different numbers given to them so perhaps either level of difficulty or scenarios maybe um, and then at the bottom we also have customer so these are presumably our customer cards because that would make sense also in this pack oh very nice stop don't shuffle these cards that's helpful because not that I tend to dive in and shuffle straight away but if I did it would be ruined uh, only reveal the next card when you're ready to play the next piece of the story that's very cute so presumably these line up with the scenarios which makes sense because sugar and spice get out of their mice was the scenario that I showed you previously I've done it that way so that you can't actually see what the cards are you can just see the names so those should line up with those and yes they say scenario on the back um, and then just some um, how to play sort of player cards and rules reference or round structure I should say on the back there as well very nice now the final pack also contains two sets of cards because they are different colours and we can tell so one of them I can tell from the back says ingredient on them so perhaps this is how we go about actually making the uh, bakes for the customers that we're going to be providing obviously at the skill level of Kim Joy because can't we all bake like professionals? Okay, so those ingredient ones I said about, say ingredient on the back quite nicely, they're all yellow and we've got things like flour, butter, sugar, what more could you need for a cake? Or maybe some eggs. Some extra bits and bobs that you're going to need that are all in there. Oh, chocolate. I like that there is a random helpful duck that can be used for any ingredient. I just like how this is stacking. I'm already smiling and we've not started playing yet. That's something quite nice. And we also have layer cards, which are pink and they have things like icing or what else have we got pastry so all these sorts of extras you can add in so presumably we're going to try and build these together to create stuff to then send them to our customers to then fulfill whatever necessity we have at the time which sounds delightful now you can pick up kim joy's magic bakery very very soon if not already and you can always pre-order if it hasn't gone live by the time this video is available to you and we've also very excitingly spoken to kim joy so you can find a feature on our website too where she's answered a couple of questions for us um, in a really exciting thing so you can check that out as well i will pop the links in the description so question is then tell me would you make this have you made bakes as good as this and then would you play this Leave it all in the comments so that I can read. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. It is me that responds to them. So make sure you pop those down so we can have a lovely conversation about either cake or board games. And I am happy with both. But if you need more tabletop in your life, head to tabletopgaming.co.uk, hit like, thanks, and hit subscribe so you can see more. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.